Greetings, Saber Rights. Anonymous here. I wanted to give a little bit of a uh, talk or um, some hints and tips about positioning of the knee. I know we've talked about it before. I, I know I've probably mentioned it within certain videos, but this is specifically there. And um, really what I'm talking about is the instruction that goes around a whole lot, which is never let your knee go beyond your toes. And uh, what they sort of mean is this, okay? So if my knee is past my toe like that. Now, generally speaking, you can make an argument for that. However, it's not a very good benchmark because it's not exactly true. What you really want to be concerned about is a relationship between your upper body and your lower leg, okay? So this right here should be at the same angle as that there. So the more I go forward and the more my knee goes forward, the more I lean forward. And you do that by tucking at the hip here, okay? Most of the times what we see is we see an extended hip here like this, which pushes the knee forward like that. What needs to happen is the hip needs to come back so that right here, all of these muscles are engaged, your glutes are engaged, hamstrings, and it's your hamstring which is really doing most of the work here. If we allow this to happen, where my upper body is straight here like this, there's a lot of forward, motion on the knee, or a lot of forward force, which is, can cause a lot of pain, right? Now, where you want it to go over the knee is in lower stances, crouching, that kind of thing, or when you're stepping. So if I'm here like this, if I shift forward here and bring my knee in, that's fine, okay? I do not want to do this, okay? Again, because that relationship is there. As long as your hip is engaged, which is when this is here. This is not engaged, this is engaged here, okay? I can turn it out and I still have it tucked, okay? This is the important part. The knee should transfer the weight down there. If you're feeling anything in your knee, adjust your hip. Your hip is really the prime mover here. The ankle will try to remain stable and reactive there. So if I shift forward like this, that's fine. Right? If I shift forward like this, not so much. I especially don't want to kind of lean back like this as my front part goes forward. That, that, that we don't necessarily want to do. Um, con you know, um, counterintuitively, if I step out deeper, I'm going to have less of a problem with that because I can sink more dramatically into that hip. All right? Um, this is a good thing if you're having knee pain um, that you can't quite uh, put a bead on or anything like that. A lot of times it's this hip position right there. So, little tip just in all things that you do, knee and toe, generally speaking, not as important as lower leg and upper butt. So, if I'm here, I want that rhythm there. Okay? All right, so practice hard, stay safe, keep this in mind, protect your knees, have a great day, happy sabering.